What's up, everybody? I'm really excited. Today, I'm heading up to Oklahoma City to meet up with my good friend, Marcy Dillon. She's a realtor based out of Norman, Oklahoma, which is a suburb of Oklahoma City. And we're doing a little video collaboration. She, too, has a channel for all things real estate up in the city. And uh, really, she's the whole reason I got into YouTube. So I'm really excited to be doing a video with her today. We are going to be going head to head talking about rural versus urban living in Oklahoma. So <laughs> stay tuned. Hester, your favorite realtor in all of Southern Oklahoma. And today I'm here with Marcy. She's another realtor in Norman, Oklahoma, which is a suburb of Oklahoma City. But honestly, she's the whole reason I'm in YouTube. She had a channel long before I did, and she really inspired me to get into all of this. But that's not why you're here. You're here so we can talk about rural versus urban living in Oklahoma. Yep. So as Marcy and I were getting to know each other, we kind of discovered that we sort of had opposite lives. Yep. So I came from a town of Eagle River, which is a uh, another suburb of Anchorage in Alaska. Yeah. Marcy's from? I'm from Claremore, which is a suburb of Tulsa. Well, but it's a small town. It's a small town. It's a small town, yeah. I think it was around 20,000. The point I was trying to make was that you're from a small town. In <laughs> Got it. I'm just small town. <laughs> Thank God I'm out of there. No, I'm joking. I mean, it's just not my jam. <laughs> just like the city's not my jam right. anymore either. Right. So that's really what we were going to talk about today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, first up, uh, driving. Driving. <laughs> so, I, I, this is kind of a mixed bag for me, honestly, because driving in the, uh, in the uh, rural okay. areas here. Um, people drive really slow, which yes. is great. But <laughs> when I'm in Ardmore, which is a town just under 30,000 people, you, I mean, we kind of feel like a traffic jam is like, if you have to wait for two light changes, I know, it's, ah! I know totally ridiculous. More times you're going to be waiting through yeah. light changes because of a big trucker or something. Right. But, yeah. It's very cool. So dri driving in the city versus driving in the country, like what you're talking mm -hmm. about with like people driving slow. Yes. In the country. I mean, I'm from the country. Like they wave the though. Waving. Yeah. They totally. <laughs> it's a big thing. And it's, it's not thing. waving like this. It's like, yeah, it's a one finger, a two finger, or a full on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're driving. A while truck. you're, and it's usually while you're holding on the steering wheel. Oh yeah, you have to like, you have to hold on to the top of the steering wheel. No one drives ten and two. No. it's always top. Yeah, and always. It's, it's the this is the way. Yeah, but, that's yeah. right. And in this, you know, here in Norman, <clears throat> a city of one hundred and twenty-five thousand versus you know Oklahoma City, which is like six hundred thousand. Uh, we don't. To me, it's not a ton of traffic. I've spent a decent amount of time in LA, so I'm like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, Dallas, right? Fuck. I love you, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> but your driving sucks. Your driving sucks. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All yeah, all horrible. My, so, you know, I I do hear people from small towns like, oh my gosh, that Oklahoma City traffic, like, you know, it, I hate it. It's <laughs> You may sit in traffic for like 20 minutes. The worst is the rubberneckers. 20 minutes? Yeah. I mean, no. It feels longer. Yeah, totally. It's like not. eternity. It's, <laughs> it's not. The worst thing is construction. Always. Oh, well, yeah. True. So True. And even, yeah, I'll totally say that. It, yeah. So I-35, always under construction. 
And I wanted to tell you guys too, like every time I go home to Alaska, mm. not once do I go there and not get the bird. I get the what? bird every time I go home. It's like the, the drivers are so angry. Okay. So I'd much rather get a wave than the bird. <laughs> anyway, this was really a shocker to me because okay. I, growing up in Eagle River, I went to a high school called Chugiak High. Chugiak? Chugiak. Chugiak. Was that? Oh, pardon sorry. my Alaskan accent. <laughs> Chugiak. Okay. Um, but I'd heard of people <laughs> talking about how they knew everybody in their class. Like if somebody moved there from someplace else, they knew everybody okay. that was in their graduating class. Okay. People, my graduating class was over 300 people. Okay. Just for my graduating class. Coming to Ardmore... I discovered that my elementary school was the size of the high school. Okay. So it made a lot more sense to me to finally understand how people knew their entire graduating class. Yeah. I mean, our graduation took like three hours. Yeah. For everybody to walk the stage. So I. Very different. That's crazy that like, because. So you my, would have grown up. Well, my, yeah, my because yeah. my experience was much like Ardmore. So I went to what we call a country school for um, K through eight, and <laughs> okay. So because they're different a, too. Yeah, they don't I mean, have a high school. Yeah. So this is in North Eastern Oklahoma. There are several left that do this. Like I know yeah. a lot of um, schools that have this. And wait till you hear the name. You want to hear the name of my school that I went to? Okay, Chugiak. <laughs> Justice Taiwa. What? <laughs> so what? Justice was the original school, Justice Schools, and then they merged with this Native American school called Taiwa, and so it was Justice oh. Taiwa. See, and that's something that Oklahoma and Alaska totally have a kinship oh, over. Yeah. Is Native we both American. have Native mm -hmm. American heavy Native American cultures. Yeah, so Chugiak is yeah. What tribe is that? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Call me out. Well, I, I don't know. I, I, so down in Ardmore, I'd say their graduating classes are anywhere between I don't know fifty to seventy-five people. Man. So it's like tiny. It's tiny. But I mean, you get a lot of probably personalized um, assistance. I don't know. I'm trying to. It's just weird yeah. to me. Totally, totally weird to me. Like I don't know how big Norman's classes are, but like they're big. There's two high schools in Norman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're really big. I think they're probably around. 300 or 400 I th I think so because they're I know they're the the largest category yeah. and, and then it's same about right for the size of the yeah town. and then same for um <clears throat> even Ardmore has two high schools okay but there's still two high schools that are very small <laughs> they just wanted that small town <laughs> yes yes different but so, uh, people people I know I'm very outgoing in nature but it doesn't always mean that I really love people <laughs> So too many or not enough? I I feel like I have too many. <laughs> I so you know growing up I grew up with really without neighbors. Yeah. Um, you know, so it was kind of hard as a teenager. I guess I don't know. I like to be by myself, but I don't feel like there's that many people in Norman. Wait till I show you her neighborhood. Look at that sea. Of rooftops. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel that way. But I get feedback um, from several of you and from other people that you know it feels a little bit crowded if you're from a small town. My house, we have two and a half acres, and our mm. backyard looks out into a yeah horse pasture. What about how people act, dude? Like, okay, yeah, totally. So, yeah. like I said, in Alaska, you get the middle finger a lot. Because people are kind of just angry and right. roll up tight. I don't know. You think they'd be happier up there, but <laughs> <laughs> they're not choosing. But it, people know. here are very friendly, and we yeah. totally agree on that. Oh yeah. So I've never been any place where people were truly more. Um, I don't know, just like welcoming, yeah. helpful. Yes, like even super helpful. Even in the cities, like in Oklahoma City, I'm. I rarely. No one's ever rude to me. No, definitely not. No one. And even if they're angry at you, you're like, you know what they say yeah. to you, though? If they're mad at you, oh, bless their heart. Yeah. That's them saying. That's you're a, a southern thing. You're a, you're an idiot. 
Mm -hmm. FYI, if you ever heard of that, you're an idiot. Yeah, it's really, you can't skip the small talk here with people. No, mm -hmm. and they slow talk here too. Yes. Which, as you, as if you, yeah, as if you can tell, I'm a very fast talker. I try to, I have to consciously slow I get down. to the point. And I know I annoy the living daylights out of people. Yeah. I, I, I have a hard time starting off with the, hey, how you doing? How you feeling about this hot weather? Like, I just have How's a hard time. How's your mom? She's doing okay? Yeah, I was going to ask about mom. I was going to ask about mom, your friends, whoever you have in common. Mm. It's really typical. So you can't skip that part. Mm. You're talking to someone. Got to work. You're waiting. Yeah. Hands. Um, or they'll, it's, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. So, yes. <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about safety. People ask me about this a lot a because lot. unfortunately Ardmore does show up pretty high on the, um, um yeah. safety list, but I feel, I, I kind of, I'm just going to be honest. I avoid this topic because I feel like it's really a matter of personal perspective Okay. and I have never felt safer than Ardmore. I have a very, I'm laughing because, um, I have a very bad tendency of not locking my car, mm. which if I come to the city, I gotta make, I gotta, I gotta yeah, make sure I lock do. my car, but I, do. I don't lock my car at night. I also, there's, there's probably about 95% of the time there's a door unlocked in our house at all times, <laughs> at all times. And I know this is not the case here, but yeah. I don't know. I'm horrible about that stuff. I'm, and I never feel uncomfortable. I do have dogs. Yeah. But, uh, I can be bad about it. I, like, you know, I did grow up in a small town. Like, it slips my mind sometimes. Um, I've been known. Have you ever had things stolen out of your vehicle? Not, not out of my vehicle. Twice. I, really? Yes. <laughs> Here. No. And no, anyway, sorry. I always park in the garage. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. She's a, she's I'm a garage, garage person. person. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Um, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm at my parents, they live on a ranch. I never lock my car. <laughs> Because I don't want you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and handsome will always lock. I'm like, you don't need to. And then lock you go back it. to it and you're so annoyed yeah. because the car's locked. You don't have to yeah. lock the car. There's yeah. literally no here. My mom does the same thing. I don't know why. <laughs> she totally locks the car all the time. Yeah. I'm like, it's not necessary. We are looking at an 80 acre property. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Car's locked. Yeah. Car's locked. So definitely look up your crime stats. See what. The yeah. best thing we can tell you is yes. to visit here to see how you feel. Correct. So like I said, Marcy and I both have YouTube channels. And one of the things that absolutely comes up for people moving here from out of state is mm -hmm. the lack of restrictions here. Right. So what is that same for you? Always. People always talk about <clears throat> restrictions with me. They're like, and in different ways. Yes. So by, let's, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So what do we mean by lack of restrictions? So we've got, yeah. it's either open carry or constitutional carry, which just means that you can carry a weapon. Yeah. Um, you don't have to have a concealed carry license to no. do it or go through any special permitting, which yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who knows what kind of yahoos just out there sport? Anyway, that's a whole other topic for another, another day. It is. But yeah, I'm very, uh, my husband and I, we shoot a lot. We compete, mm. but it still makes me uncomfortable because I just don't know what somebody's skill set is. It so makes it me freaks me out at times as yeah. well. Yeah. So. Um, we're both realtors though. Yeah. So let's talk about what lack of restrictions means for rural versus urban living. Cause yes. this is something that has blown a lot of my yes. clients minds <laughs> on a lot of levels <laughs> for city life. Yeah. City life. I don't know if this is truly city life. I've just lived in some bigger cities. Well, I can, I can guarantee you're going to have a certificate of occupancy. Yes. We have certificate of occupancy permits. Permits. Yes. The building process is not as, um, you know, you have to get checked and stuff, but it's not like, oh, you have to turn in all the plans to the city. Like, you don't. Um, so what that means for us, though, in rural Oklahoma, dude, you're going to be lucky if you even have a house plan. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Like, no house plans here. Mm -hmm. People have definitely wondered about, oh, we just, where's the house plans? We want to see. We want to yeah. look at the blueprints. They don't exist. They don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist at all. Not a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the things that comes up with me is HOAs. Mm, okay. Okay. So people, especially from California, mm -hmm. Washington State, and Arizona are like, I don't want to live in an HOA. Well, okay. It's not the same though. Well, it's not even a thing where I'm at. I think we have two, we have two right. HOAs even work. Like, in, inside Ardmore, there's only two. Like 
what I hear typically from people from either coast is like, oh, your HOA is 300 a month because they see the 300. And it's like, no, no that's a year. That's a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's mostly to mow the grass at the gate at yeah. the front. That's yeah. Or, pretty much it. And where I'm at, sometimes it'll include some yard work. Minimal, okay. minimal. So, yeah. but sometimes they include um, roads. Service, yeah. Ro because you have to have a road agreement if you have multiple people on a road that a county <laughs> is not taking care of. The so. cat's pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you pooped already. Second time. Good. Uh, here we go. Done? Are you done now? Whoa. Cats. Okay. Yeah, so if, <clears throat> if there's a road that the county is not going to take care of, which is super common, mm -hmm. yeah. then you have to have a road agreement for the neighborhood, which is really common in some areas that are rural but are very yeah. close to being urban. <laughs> so what we what I've seen definitely is uh, deed restrictions. And yeah. that would just – so deed restrictions mm -hmm. would be – uh, very minimal charges, like you said, to do road maintenance. Right. And usually it'll just kind of uh, give some restrictions on, <laughs> I hate to say this, but age of the mobile home that can move in. Yes. <laughs> or sometimes what square footage. Home. Yeah. Square footage. Yeah. Um, but it's very, very minimal. Unless animals. you have. Yes, animals, actually, yeah, yeah, you're correct. So yeah. the last one I looked at had, um, it was like one horse per acre. Yeah, so, that's pretty common. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't I don't mean to to I don't know scare yeah. anybody about our quality of construction, but, but it's it just different. When you ask for less restrictions, this, this goes with it. What it is? Yeah, this, this totally is goes with it. Yeah, and there even inside of Norman, I've had people, especially from the East Coast, like, well, what about this? Well, will the city? No, no, <laughs> no. And yeah. Ardmore is the only town in at least. I don't know about Durant or Duncan. Okay. Those are also some Southern Oklahoma towns, but at least in the city of Ardmore, it is the only town that has any kind of uh, occupancy certificate. Oh. So if you build within city limits of any other town down there, it doesn't matter. No certificate of occupancy. So the people build they, it and live in it. Yeah, and they do that. Yeah. That's really, yeah, yeah to build as you're living in that. Huh? I heard a phrase from one of my clients called a throw me together. So that's what you don't want. You don't want to. You don't want to go don't into want a throw, to throw me, together. me together. Yeah, yeah. But, and I've seen them, especially in East Norman, like that. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, adding on to and don't mm -hmm. even need permits or anything like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That is All right. So that's about it. That summarizes my uh, rural versus urban living here in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had some great takeaways. Go check out Marcy's channel. She, well, we <laughs> did another collaborative video over there for the top five reasons to live in Oklahoma, which we totally agree on. Oklahoma is a great place to live. But I don't know if they're necessarily top five, but reasons you should live um, that may be uh, intangible yeah. or something you didn't think about. So. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. But until the next time, guys, bye. In the oh, room. my gosh. Yeah. Now she's got to turn around. Yeah, she do some more. her system. I'm totally guilting her for that moment coming out. I hope she knows I'm filming her. Oh, she doesn't care. She gives zero <laughs>